there's always been fan castings about Sydney Sweeney coming into the MCU and playing Black Cat. Well, now a new report is saying that she's been sent an offer. Guys, let's dive into this report and see what they're talking about with Sydney Sweeney coming over the MCU. So we've got rumor Sydney Sweeney offered the role of Black Cat in Spider-Man 4, guys. Sounds cool, sounds a little too good to be true. But there are several Sydney Sweeney rumors doing the rounds at the moment, and we can now add another to the list as the highly in demand Euphoria star is said to be in line to play Black Cat in Spider-Man 4. Now, this is according to my time to shine. Hello, take it with a grain of salt. Guys, I 100% can say that this account has gotten less credible over time. In the beginning, they had a lot of accurate scoops, but lately, they've been pretty off kilter. I mean, it has just not been that accurate. So again, grain of salt. But according to them, Sweeney has the offer to play Black Cat in Spider-Man 4. Now, this is not official, just a rumor. Of course, Sweeney has already appeared in Sony Pictures' Madam Web as Spider-Woman, but we have previously heard that she has had talks with Marvel Studios about a different role. Also, Madam Web's dismal box office performance means the sequel is highly unlikely. Yeah, there's no way they're gonna bring back Madam Web and any of those characters. Listen, that thing flopped. I mean, box office wise, let's look it up. I mean, Madam Web box office wise, Madam Web box office. Let's just look at 103 million, not even 103, 100.3 million. There's no way, there's absolutely no way Madam Web is coming back. <laughs> uh, after that box office bomb, and what, what was the budget? Uh, budget was 80 million. You gotta factor in about 100, probably on top of that for marketing. Maybe let's just say another 80 million. You're right at 160 million. You get 100.3 million box office. There's no way. They lost money. There's no way. I don't really understand how Sony even keeps making these movies, considering what did Morbius even do? Morbius box office was 167. And what was that budget? Budget was. 75 million so if we times that by two said 150 million was the marketing plus the budget barely made any scraps we got to give it up sony but anyway let's continue back with the sydney sweeney story how much stock should we put in this sweetie sweeney is a hot commodity so we'd have no problem believing that marvel would reach out that said this particular insider has become a lot less trustworthy uh, 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 that's exactly what i said guys a lot less trustworthy over time. Uh, yeah, my time to shine. Hello, that credibility has not been great. But I wanted to bring this up because this is Marvel Film News who's reporting on this saying it was my time to shine. Hello. And lo and behold, we go on to my time to shine. Hello's account. And she says, I know this account is just seeking tension, but I never said that. Now, there were a couple other accounts that did not sign, cite my time to shine. Hello that said that this had some validity, but guys, look, here we are. Just faking, people just making up news. Crazy, man, crazy. So let's maybe not put too much stock in this, but I think it's highly possible Felicia Hardy is a very popular character, and if Spider-Man 4, if they really want that street level vibe, if that's what they're going for, I do believe they will contact Sydney Sweeney or someone else to play Felicia Hardy. Now, you guys let me know, who would you like to play Felicia Hardy if it's not uh, Sydney Sweeney? Goodness, I almost blanked. My choice would be Anya Taylor-Joy. Now, listen, there's nothing against Sydney Sweeney. I understand the visual appeal, but I just think out of the movies I've seen her in, and that's Anyone But You, Madam Web, and then what was that uh, other movie about, I think it was called Lottery or Liberty, maybe I'm wrong about the, the um, I can't remember the movie's name, but it was a short movie on Max, this political film. And I could tell you guys this much, I just didn't really like her in that either. And so, I don't know, I'm, I'm sitting here, looking at, at the few performances I've seen Sydney Sweeney do, and I just don't think she has the acting chops to quite pull off a 
black cat. I think Anya Taylor-Joy can be sleek, smooth. I think it was a very big missed opportunity for them to nab her from New Mutants and have her be in another role. So honestly, I'd love to see her as Black Cat. I think she's got so much talent to be in that suit, guys. I'm so excited to see any kind of update about Spider-Man 4 because, man, oh, man, you know we feel like we've been waiting forever. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments, guys. Who would you like to cast as Black Cat? What do we think about this rumor? It sounds like there's not a lot of weight because even my time to shine hello was saying they didn't say that. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that big red subscribe button down below for videos on the latest in movies, TV, Marvel, DC. Once a day, y'all, come on back to the channel, and we'll see you next time on Geekly Goods. Mm -hmm.